Welcome back to my morning report. Charles appraisals on Thursday, the 9th of April, with me, Rich Pro Market Analyst at Handtech Markets. I'm going to move on to Euro now. And the Euro has, well, basically, we had um, a slight element of, con uh, of support that came in yesterday. Um, and that was turned around by the FOMC minutes. And basically, since then, uh, we've now seen a close of three negative candles in a row. And that's sort of uh, maneuvering to become a fourth now with the the euro down 40 pips again on the day now this is beginning to show through on the momentum indicators um although the rsi and, and macd lines are not too um too bad yet uh, the stochastics are certainly falling away um and it looks like it we're now maneuvering for well a test of that 107 12 mark we're only sort of 20 20 30 pips away from that this is the hourly chart and this is sort of zoomed out quite a long way but 12 um 7 107 12 is certainly that um resistance sorry that support that's coming under threat now the reason i've gone this far back is to show you these pivot levels because 108 figure has been that pivot level that had been supportive and has now become resistance so you'd, you'd be saying that that is your level that you need to watch for the upside sort of had a, a maybe a, a, arguably a little attempt at it this morning 10786 um but that certainly looks like the uh that is the overhead resistance now and a test of 10712 is perfectly likely if you break 10712 you're on for 10612 so a, a further 100 pips to the downside which is this low that we saw on the 19th um but it certainly looks like you're gradually starting to see this um consolidation roll over I wouldn't um, guarantee that it's going to break down because uh, until the um, actual break has been seen and confirmed, then um, it would be, uh, I think, uh, not a wise move to necessarily play for too much downside. But it certainly looks like at the moment the pressure is building to, to on that support that we've got at 107.12 and uh, it looks like rallies are being used as a chance to sell so any sort of jump that you see perhaps today um certainly if it uh, falls over around that 108 figure mark then i think that uh, that would be deemed to be another chance to uh, sell for a near term position um until you see uh, as i said until you see a really uh, confirmed move below 10712 then i don't think you're going to see um sort of a, a maneuvering towards those lows but if you do see that breakdown of 10712 then that is a big breakdown in this chart because that is the that is the key support certainly for this range um and uh, i think you would subsequently see a, a, a i mean for example on the daily chart you'd see the um MACD lines crossing over probably at that point. You see the stochastic sharply lower and uh, the RSI sort of pulling back towards 30. So all these in momentum indicators would be then rolling over in a negative way and uh, suggesting probably a retest of the lows. But until you see that 107.12 broken, then I um, on a confirmed basis, I, d I don't think you should get too far ahead of uh, ahead of yourselves on the downside but um, it is certainly close anyway I wish you good luck in your trading on the euro today and uh, well in, ter sorry, in terms of resistance that 108 figure uh, level to the upside and then obviously yesterday's rally high at 108.87 but uh, then that sort of is basically at that 109 figure pivot level so um, a couple of levels there for you to work with but uh, I wish you good luck in your trading on euro and I'll speak to you later thank you